So here we are with the attached covered structures. Now these are the most popular covered structures and what people really kind of think about when they think about covered structures they wanted to attach to the house. Now there is a lot of benefit to an attached covered structure and we're gonna talk about all of those right now. So of course the benefits of an attached structure are, are just that you get to walk out of your house, you get to go right out into your space. No matter what the weather is, if it's in the middle of the winter, if it's pouring down rain, or if it's baking with the summer heat, you're going to be fine with either the shade or the cover from the weather. Now the cool thing about a, an attached structure too is you can provide multiple destinations even in that attached space. So look at what we've done here. We have the fireplace. We have the TV on top of the fireplace. We have another kind of room added to this with the bar off to the side. And we have the outdoor kitchen that bridges the bar and the fireplace. Now a beautiful attached covered structure here right on their deck and it's right out of their house. Now really this is used all the time by the homeowner. Look at the heaters that we have there. They are out there all the time. They especially love the football season because they're hanging out there in the fall months when it's super cold. They're out there watching football under the heaters and they just get to walk out in bare feet if they want and not have to worry about going through weather. Now take a look at what we did at this attached covered structure. It was a little tricky because we had to move the window but that's part of attaching to the house. It's sometimes you have to get creative with moving your windows. So that might right there be the decision maker for you because it's not an inexpensive proposition as soon as you start moving windows and start adding structures to your home. But what we did here is we moved the window. We had to add a cricket over to the side where it attached to that bump out of their house. But again, we matched the architecture of the home with the gable there and look at how beautiful this turned out. Now the reason we did an attached structure on this house is because they lived on such a sloped area, there was nowhere for them to go with a freestanding structure. They had to attach it in this situation. Now my one little negative, and I've said this before with this property, is they really didn't have anywhere else to go. So yes, they were able to step out dry Yes, they were able to have a kind of a nice area with their bar there, the grill, and a TV spot. But really, look at the surrounding area. It doesn't really invite you to another destination. It doesn't really invite you to do much more in your landscape. So it kind of acts as like a little prison there where you don't really leave that prison cell. Now, that is okay, uh, but it's always good if you can to offer a second destination. Now look at what we're able to do with this attached covered structure. So because of that window, this is their master bedroom window, we were not able to take that window and take it out. They wanted that light. So we tucked this structure underneath that window. We added those wings, and I've said this before, but you add those waterproof wings and all of a sudden you have a beautiful large covered space attached to the house with multiple spaces in that space. So you have the fireplace, you have a nice bar area that's looking out into the landscape, especially there with the fire pit. It's just gonna invite you out to gaze out over your beautiful outdoor living space. But then you have the outdoor kitchen there as well. So really three spaces in one, so to speak, by attaching that structure to the house, lowering it underneath that windows and adding that waterproof wing. Now look at what we did here with the Grub property. It's an attached structure, but we created destination by putting it on the location that we did. So this was not outside of their door. 
so they still walk from their door over to their space. But really this was the best spot to install or add a covered structure in this area. And we were able to get a lot of usable space in this area. We got the fireplace there. The fireplace also acted as a privacy screen from the neighbor behind them. And then we added the bar. We added the outdoor kitchen. And then with the steps there, we added that cute little transition bar, which I love the use of that space. So really we turned unusable space. All they had was a air conditioner here with dead space prior. And what we've added is a whole beautiful destination attached covered structure in this situation. So I hope you like that attached cover structure. There's so many different ways to go with an attached structure and you can really maximize the space in it. Now, another attached structure that we're gonna talk about right now is a deck covered structure. 
Now we're gonna have a whole video because these are a category of their own, so to speak, but it, you can really maximize usable space when you cover a deck and you create underneath the deck covered outdoor living. So we're gonna have a whole video on that right now. Enjoy it right now and don't forget to like and subscribe.